good day, good people out there. I'm making this video because, you know, I'm a target individual too. Um, they've been doing the same shit to me, my uh, family, so-called family around me. You know, somebody wants to sacrifice me. I have reason to believe that it's my twin brother. Um, also, this could be for many reasons to sacrifice me for an inheritance as well that my grandfather <clears throat> has just recently passed away last year and left me with. Um, I didn't know that I was born into a society, a bloodline of uh, Masons and Eastern Stars. Had I known, I would have never tried to take them down legally because I know I cannot do it. Since this whole thing started, it's been, I mean, a astronomical amount of torment, decimation of character, poisoning, sexual harassment, sexual molestation, possibly, and just really evasive tactics. I know my plight and who I am with the most high. I know I'm going to be judged. I'm not better than anybody on this planet. I don't try to walk around like I am because at the end of the day, I will have to answer the things that I did on this planet that I do know. But what I don't understand is, is that <clears throat> these powers that be, they are very cunning and crafty people. They will create, usually for a target individual, at least from my theory is, is that we are all to be sacrificed period point blank so if you're in in the program to be put as a target individual you're going to be definitely targeted <clears throat> and ultimately they're going to put push you to death because that you're supposed you're supposed to die you're supposed, you're supposed to be a sacrifice now what i do know is is that or at least let me say, let me go back to what I feel. The reason why I feel like every targeted individual is to be sacrificed is because they use people around you, your family. And if they can use people around you, like your family and your friends, and they're part of it, then you already know that they're taking part in literally erasing you from this virtual world that we live in or they're attempting to do so some people succeed at it their ultimate goal is to push you to suicide if they can get you to kill yourself because it will promote and support their um research of mind control so if we as people don't realize what exactly happening to us we don't realize that this is all spiritual and there are some technological aspects that are induced <clears throat> spiritually but if you're not in tuned then you won't know that it's happening to you and then you will try to come up with you know other plausible reasons as to what's happening to you like accusing the people around you and that is true a lot of the people around you are part of it but some of the times it may seem like the people around you are taking part in the physical <clears throat> the physical um decimation of you of your body you know and of your of your mind so for instance you may think that you were just drugged because you woke you know in the middle of the night or that night and you woke up the next morning you was delirious you have no accountants of what happened to you the last the last day and you just feel you know woozy and disoriented you know, you could say, oh, well, someone around me in my house has poisoned me. Because I know a f quite a few times I kept on accusing people in my house of doing it. And yeah, that was true because they was doing it. But because there are nanoparticles in our bodies, and this is for everybody. I know that they put it, they, they, it's in our bodies, period, point blank. So because we have these nanoc nanoparticles in our body, they can go, they have access to do things to us by way of frequency and the technology that they got. So we all know this, but <clears throat> I believe that it's used to try and escalate 
the paranoia as well as the hysteria that we have behind the whole entire thing and when they know that they have a very shrewd individual that they are targeting they have to come up with so many different ploys on to mislead you to convince you otherwise to conform with them or to you know literally just make your life a living hell but also to ultimately sacrifice you and what happens is is that <clears throat> someone in your family or around your circle of loved ones in so called phase someone has conspired to get rid of you period that's just the reality someone because there's something in you obviously and these people you know you can be impure by flesh because we already know that a lot of we all are impure by flesh because we were born into uh sin we we're born into iniquity so of course you can be impure by flesh but have a pure soul and have a pure heart and that is what they they look for in people they look for purity of the mind purity of the soul and of the heart and they need to sacrifice people like that because of <clears throat> the life force energy um these people are obsessed with trying to extend their life life form on planet earth is what they call it i call it mother apparatus because honestly i mean i can't really call it anything they've given us terms you know and these are terms that they've created which is why they speak so um articulately in in their verbiage they create it <clears throat> another thing is is that um since this whole thing has happened to me you know uh everything has happened exactly the way that you guys have explained it other people who are experiencing it from character assassination to occupation sabotage and uh false uh false accusations just really making you look like a demonic appear to be a demonic entity to the world and this has happened to me constantly you know i know that they're using neighbors people around me to uh watch me watch my every move and considering that i am a homebody they really don't know what the hell i'm doing so really they have to use people around me to keep watch of me. Now, there's been a lot of things that has happened. I've tried to escape. Um, come to find out, I cannot go anywhere because they're watching my every move and they know where I am. And uh, when I did try to escape, there's been many different uh, pursuits on poisoning me as well as trying to kill me. And uh, as well as trying to just really indoctrinate me or just to convince me otherwise that <clears throat> what I'm what I believe in and who I am and what I what I uh live for is false and what they believe in and really what the general conviction is for the world is right and I should conform and I have no other choice but to conform and if I don't then <clears throat> I will be uh, assassinated period you know, but I think what really sparked this was the fact that my grandfather had passed. I knew what had happened. I'd known that my cousin had taken part in, you know, um, killing my grandfather, killing my grandmother, as well as his own mother for this inheritance. And I had all of the legal evidence, and I still do have the evidence to prove that. But I know that. I now cannot, I won't be successful in taking them down simply because I know that they control the uh, court systems. <clears throat> they control everything. So uh, me seeking a legal lawsuit against them is no, it, it's no in this point and uh, it's highly irrelevant and I I would be doing myself a uh, exhausting disservice by trying to pursue the, sue them if I was to go on and take this case. <clears throat> you know, so uh, there's just been too much of uh, distractions, you know, obstacles, and there's going to be more, I know that. And 
I'm gonna write this out. I just say to everybody out there who are being targeted, you need to write it out and you need to curse these demons back to hell where they belong. And the only one that can help you do that is the Most High. That's it. And they know that they have targeted individuals who are very, very spiritual people. So this is fun and games for them. They love to toy with shrewd individuals. It's a, um, <clears throat> it's a challenge for them. Especially if you're a shrewd individual and you are, um, you know, outwitting them and outsmarting them at their own game. They don't like that furthermore. And, you know, for them, it's even more research that needs to be done on that individual because they want to know how is it that your mind cannot conform like the, the general or average <clears throat> human being that we do have under mind control. Or that we can easily say something to and they will swallow at face value and go and repeat it with... I mean, the most conviction <clears throat> that you can have in in a comrade, you know, um, believe it with your heart and soul about their philosophies, their false philosophies, their fake teachings, their lies and deceit and Satanism. And their black magic doesn't work on me, you know. Uh, I used to study uh, magic and all of that, so I know how it works. And if you don't believe in it it won't mess with you that's just the reality if you don't if you don't believe in it and if you believe in the power of the most high to be able to <clears throat> dispel these negative forces away from you and dispel their uh curses or their attempts to curse you then you will know for certain that <clears throat> that it'll have no effect on you because you'll be a believer in the most high and believe that their magic has no effect on you because his power is greater and he's the only one that can render you amnesty from all of this. And he is. <clears throat> yes, I have um, embarked on a conquest to smoke again. Um, you know, I, I had uh, quit smoking for about four or five years and then I just recently started once all of this started and I tried to escape to a state <clears throat> and they pursued every day to kill me then they poisoned all the food and I was homeless out there and even the food that I ate out of the garbage was even poisoned you know uh, I all of the drinks everything that I pretty much bought was tainted <clears throat> and Insistent, incessantly they they pursued after me every day to kill me or to try to manipulate me. A gang stalker came near me trying in the form of a, a, of a, of a fae <clears throat> with a very delicate approach and some even would play with you because if they know that you're shrewd then they know that they want to you know try to mess with you uh, psychologically by trying to you know, deem you as a Delphic person coming to seek information. You know, you give them some uh, opinionated uh, admonition or an admonition based off of uh, experience. And, you know, they'll sit up there and listen to you and act like they're they're very interested. And these people, some of these people are because these are people who are watching you. And they have grown very, very fascinated by you. But they are frightened as well. So it's a fright for fascination. So... <clears throat> It's all fun and games for them. Um, you know, I've even had a tons of people come up to me and give me money, which I knew that that was even uh, false, you know, because they just wanted to go ahead and watch your every move and see what, you was, what I was going to do with the money when they gave it to me. And, you know, sometimes I bought clothes. Most of the time I was buying food. You know, I did try to, uh, the first weeks, I would say first two or three weeks there, I did try to... Um, <clears throat> remedy my problems with drinking I was at a at a casino and you know I would go in there and just pretend like I was playing and I would get free drinks and it wasn't you know liquor down drinks but it was bottom line it was it was, it was drinks that was filled with spirits <clears throat> and you know it was my go-to and then you know I'd never really been much of a drinker I did all that in my uh my teens, my late teens to early 20s, and I was just kind of done with drinking. So I never really much was a drinker, so that didn't last. But <clears throat> while I was there, I did, you know, like I said, revisit my habit of smoking cigarettes. And ever since then, I started back smoking cigarettes, as well as uh, marijuana. 
Now, I can stop smoking marijuana. That's easy for me to stop. But I've noticed that they've tried, they've tainted every medical shop that I go to. So I can't even go and get marijuana. So I don't even buy it anymore. <clears throat> so if I can't buy it or purchase it because it's it's tainted, then I'm not I'm not going to smoke it anymore. You know, and see what they don't understand is is that they think that see people who are targeted they think that we're really, I mean, ignorant <clears throat> middle school people, and they think that they could somehow taint an environment that we're used to being in, taint the people around us in this environment, and taint you know, the food that we eat and just anything that we consume in this environment as well. But they think that, you know, if we don't catch wind about you tainting somebody's food at a restaurant that I always go to, you think I'm gonna I'm a go back to that same restaurant after I notice that you tainted my food and I got poisoned by you? And then on top of that, I know what y'all are doing, so I'm gonna be that stupid to go back? No, see? But they think, they think that by us being delirious, them drugging us, and them trying to um, technologically, as well as psychologically, um, <clears throat> invade our um, our headspace by controlling us. They think that we'll make that decision by doing some of the, the ignorant things, like going back to a restaurant that we know that we got poisoned at, and we know that it was a part of the, the great scheme. You know, so what we have to do is just remain cognitive about what's going on around us. Be leery about who you are lamenting to, but also be leery about who you are creating relationships with because nine out of 10 times, they're gonna use those same people around you who are newly coming into your life as a means to manipulate you too. And this is just what I, what I say. If you haven't been my friend and I didn't know, know you then, and you're trying to be my friend now, you, chances are we're not going to be friends, period. Because I'm not looking for new friends. Because all the friends that I did have, which was a very small group of friends that I kept around in my circle, are all tainted. And I've slowly but surely distanced myself away from them. So... I'm alone when it comes to friends. So the only friend that I got is a friend in me, but I got a friend in the most high, period. And that's more than enough friendship that I would need. I talk to him every day. I um, have rents with him every day. <laughs> so I'm fine. I don't, I don't need any friends. I don't need them. And I, don't need, I don't need sympathy or empathy, and I don't need anybody praying for me. Because pray as in P-R-A-Y is the same as in P-R-E-Y, pray. I don't need nobody praying on me. Mm -mm. So don't pray for me, please. Pray for yourself. But I appreciate it genuinely. But pray for yourself. He got me. If he, if he, if he can get me up out of a state from being um, pursued to be killed every day, from being poisoned at an innumerably, innumerable amount of, uh, innumerable uh, amount, I was poisoned. You know, and. I know for certain that I'm his son and his child. If, if I didn't believe him then, or if, you know, I didn't need reassurance that he was real, but if I, if I lacked it and I doubted him, oh, he's given me more and more faith to believe in him even more so now. It's just really hard to deal with because I am living in the physical world and I'm angry because this type of stuff has happened to people. You know, you never really truly wake up to, <clears throat> to, the reality of these sort of things happening around the world until it starts happening to you, you know? And that's the truth. You know, I knew that this stuff was all possible. I studied it, you know, and I researched it as well, but I didn't know how real it was, and, you know, when it started happening to me. I didn't know that I was actually being watched the whole entire time. And, um, you know, it's, it's been a rough, a rough journey, but uh, nonetheless, I'm still here. I'm still breathing. He allows me to wake up every day and take a breath of fresh air. And I thank you, Father, for allowing me to do that because you are magnificent in your works. You are mighty, you are omnipresent, and you are worthy to be praised forever and ever. And that's what I want to do because I'm a warrior for him, period, point blank. I don't care what y'all say because they're going to say that I'm this. They're going to say that I'm that when I'm dead and gone. So it's not going to matter. 
what matters is is that what my heart is and what my soul is and I would never join y'all never will I ever join you I would never write for you I would never dance for you again I would never do anything like that and they they have means to trick people especially if you're an artist you're a very shrewd intellectual person they will try to trick you to be a part of their society that's how they are they're never uh, genuine or upfront about anything you know but what I do know is is that they are they are minutes more than just minutes I mean they are some of the most revolting human beings a lot they're not even human beings you know um, this is a spirit I like to say that uh, all of them wears the same spirit but they um, inhabit differential bodies they wear the same spirit so it's a spiritual consciousness an evil spiritual consciousness that they all share and that they are part of but he's just the enemy is just using uh, multiple bodies to inhabit this um, to inhabit its host and to uh, spread its lies and deceit and that's what they've done you know uh, my family's very adamant about spreading this virus these lies that I'm paranoid schizophrenic bipolar uh, depressive um, I'm bipolar uh, you know uh, manic anxiety all this other type of stuff <clears throat> it's like granted I have psychological issues but who doesn't Everybody has psychological issues. Um, I mean, come on, even the people that's doing these things to us and just the people alive doing, you know, innocent people wrong, just sowing injustice seeds, these people have psychological issues. These are the real psychologically impaired individuals because they are fucked up. Sociopaths, psychopaths, you know, and um, they know it well because they created this system. That's why they know it so well, and they're excelling at a system that they created for themselves to win. You know, it's like creating a, a, a game, you being the game maker, and then literally trying to play its game, fooling people that, you know, you're, you're playing it fairly when you were the creator of it. Come on now, you can't play a fair game if you're the creator of the, uh, the whole entire game. Why would you want to? You can choose to do that, but who, who wants to, you know? So that's just what the uh, game makers are having fun at. They're having fun at convincing people that they are also somehow victims in this system, the system of slavery, psychologically, socially, spiritually, religiously, economically. So <clears throat> it's it's a it's a crazy world we live in, y'all. We live in a a, um, a very spiritual. Uh, world but they've convinced us that it's all physical but um i'm here to tell y'all you know i'm not afraid of you <laughs> you can keep on trying i'm never going to join you it's never going to happen you know you're watching me now you're listening to me you know and they're laughing you know and you guys I always like to say that you guys may have my dirty laundry but i have your biggest secrets and most of all i have I have what you need in my DNA, in my blood, and you want it. I have what you need and what you desire in my soul, and you cannot have it. So you can take the flesh. Naked I came in this world, naked I should leave, ashes to ashes and dust to dust. He grafted me out of dust, creating his image and his likeness, <clears throat> and here I am. But also I want to tell people, you know, it's just a... Don't be afraid of death, because ultimately they want you to fear death, making you even more um, paranoid to go out, to be around people. That's what they want, because that's going to give them more vulnerability, you know, to, uh, to access and to act on, <clears throat> to kill you, because that's just the reality. They want to kill, they want to kill all of us. That, that is their end goal, is to try to kill us, period, point blank, is to try to sacrifice us, period, point blank. They've done this to many people that we see that have gotten coverage in terms of their deaths. And it has been very unjust, it has been injustice. And it's 
and honestly, they've justified these killings with no, no viable evidence at all. And they justify it. And then they go back to work. And they go on to spew it. See, these people are already targeted. Even these people who've been killed, all of them, Trayvon Martin, Michael Brown, all of them have been targeted. They were already targeted for something. They needed them needed them for something. Period, point, break up. You targeted, they want you for something. Nine out of ten times, you are going to be dead. Period. They have to kill you for a reason. Even targeted individuals who have talked with people who are who are um, gang stalkers, who have now became targeted individuals themselves for trying to help gang, for trying to help these people, and for going against it. So you know, there's many reasons why a lot of us are being targeted. But the truth is, is that we are all truth spewers. At some point, we spew the truth, and there's something in us that we possess that they don't. And they know that they don't have, and they know that they're not gonna get. But um, I just say, um, be leery of your surroundings, circumspect everything, question everyone, question everything, and always stay prayed up and ask for a golden protection, a shield of armor from the Most High, because He will grant it to you if you ask for it. Because He already knows what we're going through, and He knows what we're dealing with, and He knows that this is gonna. He knew that this was going to happen, and soon enough, the Mishaek is going to return, and, you know, I'm sorry, Satan, but you're going down, period. And I believe I'm one of the warriors. I know I am, but you ain't going to be able to kill me. You may succeed in it. You may succeed in it, but I'm going to be back, and you know that. <laughs> you know I'm coming back. You know I'm coming back. And when I do come back, oh, you know, then you ain't going to be able to run from his wrath. Absolutely not. Peace and blessings to everybody. Like I said, everyone who's out there being targeted, I stand with you. It's happening to me. It's still continuing to happen to me. You know, and uh, we just got to stay prayed up. And we have to uh, support each other from afar. Most of all, we have to curse these uh, demons back to hell. And uh, like I said, stay prayed up. Don't, don't, uh, don't ask anyone to pray for you because 9 out of 10 times they are cursing you when they are praying you praying for you <clears throat> and like I said P-R-E-Y-I-N-G praying <laughs> literally so uh, peace and blessings to everybody um, stay safe and most of all continue to be truth continue to be that light that the most high is continue to be pure love that's it <laughs>